Good morning to another day here at Fort Wilderness Cabins. We just woke up, it is approximately 7.50 in the morning. At the moment, I am feeding the dogs. They're having their first meal of the day. We're making some freshly brewed coffee. Did you guys have a good night's sleep? I think so, she was really excited to get out of her crate this morning and go outside. It's a new territory for her, so she's super excited to be here. She even peed a little bit of excitement when she came out of her crate. All right, so we decided we're gonna come and have our coffee out here on the deck. At a table, the dogs like being outside. Hey guys, are you guys having like a good time? Outside. They do, they love it. No, I do too. Yeah, that's what I just said, the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Don't come for me in the comments. Rawr. Isn't this so I nice out here? It is really nice. So pretty. Look at the sky, they're so blue and clear. This is so serene. Oh look, there's a Disney bus. And then we have urbanity and, and Nature. You know what we're gonna need for this table I feel like? Like a tablecloth or something because it's kind of dirty. Alright we just got in the car because we're taking these little guys to the dog park before we head off to Epcot. <laughs> Let them get their energies out because yeah so they got sleep all day. Leave them in the crate for a little no, bit. Stay there. Don't cry we're almost at the dog park. We're literally like two minutes away. I don't want to stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you want to go let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance Alright, we have made it here to the dog park You guys excited? So there isn't much, isn't much parking for large vehicles or regular vehicles It's mostly um, golf cart parking So that's a good thing to note if you guys are ever going to come. That was a fun time for the dogs. It got actually got pretty hot back there. You tired back there? Even Mia's pooped. Now time for the adults to go play, the humans to go play. Yes, I need a drink after that. At Epcot. <laughs> All right, so we have Mia knocked out there. Gio's knocked out in his crate, watching the view. And John is making some lovely gin and tonics before we head out to the park. Hey, I like that shirt. Where'd you get it? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. So I found it at H&M. H&M's nice. Yeah. He got me one also, but today I'm wearing my Epcot Forever shirt, and I thought it'd be appropriate because we're going to Epcot. Right? All right, so we left the dogs at home. They are both exhausted. At the cabin. Oh, at the cabin. We're living there now? Yeah, we're, we're pretty much <laughs> living there for two nights. They are both exhausted, so that was the whole point, right? We wanted to get them exhausted so we could leave them. Yeah, so it's really good. So if you have dogs and you want to come to Disney, uh, so far this is the best place. This is the way to do it. It's really incredible. So they're exhausted. We're gonna catch the Disney transportation buses over to Epcot today since we will be drinking a little bit. So something that we just discovered while waiting for the bus to Epcot is that right behind it there is a ranch. There's a horse stable and there's all these horses and I guess this is one of the activities that you can do here at Fort Wilderness cabins and campsites. You can come horseback riding. What does it smell like right now? <laughs> It smells really good. It smells like horse manure. Like horse manure. I love the smell of horse manure in the morning. All right, here it is, our bus to Epcot. We're gonna be on the Peter Pan bus. How fitting. How fitting for- How fitting is that? <laughs> so one very important thing to know is that the buses here at Disney are separated by dividers and by parties. All right, we made it to Epcot. Oh, it's our first sight of the ball. This is so unexpected. I can't even believe that we're here so suddenly and that we're at Epcot. Like, this was literally planned like... It looks really good. It's like super crisp with the sky. This was literally planned like five days ago. Like, yeah, usually we're waiting like 
a month or two before we, you know, we're excited about coming here, but this has been like five days and we're here already. So insane. There's no line. And we're coming right through the pass holder entrance. We're here, we're here at Epcot Festival of the Arts. Feels so good to be back. Hey, just a month ago we were here, you know? I, well, okay, yes, but we were so worried about the dogs. We were having less of a good time. Now we don't have to worry. I know, you're so right. All right, let's look at this fountain here. I can't believe that we were just here not even a month ago and now a month later it's out and ready and for the world to see so as we're walking through epcot um obviously construction still going on it's going to be going on for a long time yeah what i enjoy most about epcot is the world showcase anyways so they have the mural that they do every year here at epcot festival of the arts you basically get a get a little paint container and you go and you paint and you help uh complete the mural but guess what we're not going to do that we're going to go Get some drinks. Yeah, we want to drink. That's what we're here for. <laughs> but for those of you who are interested, that little kiosk right there is where you get the paint to go in, fill in six or seven squares, I believe. Yeah, like five, six, seven. At squares. that mural over there. So here at Epcot Festival of the Arts, you have little places that you can take pictures at. So like right here is a good spot to take a photo at. We have these little butterflies here on the wall that they've painted. We even have some real life artists in their natural habitat. They are painting. All right, so we came to La Cantina here uh, in the Mexico Pavilion. We're gonna get some margaritas. We actually, we rarely ever come here to get a margarita. So we did one time, and the margarita was amazing and strong. Yeah, it was amazing and strong. So uh, we decided to come back here again. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yum. So let's just come over here and grab a straw. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I cannot believe that I did that. And that was so sad. I felt so sad that I, the fact that I did that. I always wonder, like, how does that happen to people? And it happened to me. Luckily, they gave me a brand new one. I feel, so, I still feel sad that I wasted. But we did help clean up. But they're so nice here at Disney that uh, you know they didn't let me clean up. Anyways, ready to try this? <laughs> cheers. Oh yeah, cheers. Be Most careful. importantly, must always cheers. Yum. So good. My eyes went whoop. Whoa, that was a really lovely time. We just we just sat there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes and we chatted and we had margaritas. So just a FYI, you have to go in there because that margarita is probably the strongest one you'll have here. It's so true. That margarita is really, really, really strong. We're actually gonna go stop by the Pop Eats. It's one of the more popular ones that I've been seeing on Instagram and on YouTube. We gotta get the tomato soup and the grilled cheese. So we got the bacon grilled cheese and tomato soup. Perfect table right here next to the water. Bacon grilled cheese, tomato soup. <laughs> how is it? Oh my god, it's really good. So uh, how, how can you go wrong with bacon, grilled cheese, and tomato soup? There's no way. There's no way you can go wrong. I mean, it's so good. Oh yeah, that's really good. There's not much to expect from a grilled cheese. Like, I mean, it's cheese and bread. I mean, so good. So we're gonna go on Frozen Ever After. It's only a 15 minute wait. First time ever that I've ever experienced a 15 minute wait on Frozen Ever After. Usually it's like an hour or longer because this is one of the more popular rides. Time to board. Entrez vous s'il vous plaît. I don't know why I'm feeling French today when we're currently in Norway anyways. <laughs> there is a plexiglass here between us and the next party right there. So we just left there, Norway, from our frozen ride, which we had a great experience on. Now we're gonna be here in China. And we've been hearing such great things about this sea butterfly drink. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Painted Panda, let's see where our drinks are. Yeah, come on, a little more, a little more. That's kind of a lot. We probably should have shared one, buddy. Look how pretty that drink is. Purple and uh, clear. All right, go ahead and have a sip. Let me know how it tastes. I don't know, I don't want to mix it up, but I feel like I have to because all the alcohol was on top. Definitely lychee on the bottom. Lychee. Lychee, oh, okay. Or lychee, however you want to pronounce it. 
and alcohol on the top. So you really do have to mix them. It's really good, but the alcohol is right here because they poured it last. Lychee's down here, so, and there's some bubbles. Boba pearls. The pearls, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really have to mix this, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna mix the whole beverage together. I guess that's what you're supposed to do, right? Now, I love lychee or lychee. So if you like lychee, lychee, you'll like this. It's pretty good. So we got the arancini, which are like rice balls, and they're deep fried, and they're here in the Italy pavilion. All right, let's try this sucker right here. Mm -mm -mm. My mouth is watering already. <laughs> <laughs> That was delicious. You probably shouldn't pop the whole thing into your mouth the way that I did. Half of that would have been fine. But it's delicious, so good. Finally, Vibrante and Vivito. We've been seeing in all the YouTube vlogs that we've been watching. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get the blue corn pupusa, and I'm definitely gonna get the passion fruit mousse. Oh Look how beautiful this is. Just, just like everyone said it would be. Okay, let's try the savory first. Savory okay. first. This is the blue corn pupusa. Let's try pork, cabbage, and yumminess. So go ahead and try that. Get a good chunk right there. Mm -hmm. Mm. So it's a little spicy. It's spicy? A little bit. Well, it's time to try some dessert. So, let's try this uh, little mask. Cute little guy. It's white chocolate. It doesn't taste like white chocolate. What's it taste like? It tastes like fondant. It's more like fondant. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like fondant. It's fine. You wanna try it? No, if you said fondant. If you don't like it, I'll eat the rest of it. It's yeah, fondant tastes like Play-Doh to me. It's good. Look how beautiful this is. Ready? Mm, mm, mm. How is it? It has a really good passion fruit flavor. And the cookie is quite soft. I expected the cookie to be like uh, to be harder, but it was very soft. So um, it was delicious. I really, really, really enjoyed it. What's it? All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's try some lobster poutine. Mm. All right. So we saw this on the Disney Food Blog Guide. It's supposed to have like lobster bisque. Um, what's that sour cream you think? It's like a lobster, lobster bisque nacho cheese or something. <gasps> Look at that big <laughs> lobster chunk you just put in your mouth. Mm. So in my opinion, it was really good. However, I think I prefer the original poutine. But I mean, it was delicious. It was very delicious. But uh, regular poutine is my fave. I'd agree. Okay. All right, time to head towards the park exit because we have left the dogs by themselves. It's been about five hours, I feel like. And time to go and let them out. Time to go feed them. Unfortunately, we're leaving one of my favorite places, Epcot. But we did have a wonderful time, didn't we? We did, we did a lot of stuff. We just finished eating, so we feel good. We'll good have... food, good drink, good ride. One ride, we did one ride. January is like literally the best time to come. But uh, today is Friday and it's Friday evening. So Friday evening is starting to get a little bit crowded as you guys can see there's a lot of people coming in and we are back at our cabin <laughs> I was gonna say our resort, but it's more like a cabin. We are feeding the dogs. They're eating right now Now it's time for us to have dinner. There's gonna be a lot of eating in this vlog I feel like lots of food from Epcot uh, We actually picked up some mobile order from P&J's restaurant here at Fort Wilderness It's your quick service establishment. So we got half a rack of ribs cornbread fries in there mac and cheese Yum. And then I think they gave like a ton of gravy. Oh, okay. Or barbecue sauce. Uh, excuse me, Mia. You haven't finished your food yet. You still have a little bit left to go. Be a good girl. Mmm, so tired. That's gonna be it for this vlog. Um, dinner was really good. The ribs were good, right? I enjoyed it. Mac and cheese, french fries, can't go wrong. I mean, nothing to write home about, but it was good. That's gonna be the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching our Epcot day, dog park day. Tomorrow, we're actually having a barbecue here outside. So we have a barbecue. We have a little grill right outside. So we're gonna be having a barbecue. My brother's coming over with his wife. Our friends Kelsey and John are gonna be here. So make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications turned on so you'll be notified when I put out that video. Oh, and we're gonna have one extra friend for us. Uh, me and Gio. Kelsey and John are bringing in their puppy, Penny, and Penny is going to meet and play with Gio and Mia. So again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.